one from the D.C. Department of Fire and EMS, which now has a new leader. Mike Kadeen has more now on the change in leadership. Calling it a fresh start for the D.C. Fire and EMS Department, Mayor Muriel Bowser announced her selection of Gregory Dean as the next fire chief for the District of Columbia. Dean is 64 years old. He spent 10 years as the chief in Seattle, Washington. He retired this winter after four decades with that department, but after a couple of months, he said today he decided he liked being busy and he wanted to get back to work. Now, the two departments are similar in their structure. Both provide both fire and emergency medical response. Responses. Now, every department, Dean said today, has challenges, and he will face several here in D.C. with accusations and allegations of staffing shortages, mismanaged, malfunctioning equipment, delays in patient care, notably the death of 77 year old Cecil Mills, who collapsed from a heart attack outside a D.C. fire station and later died when firefighters allegedly did not come to his aid despite pleas for help from bystanders. Dean today said before making the much needed reforms necessary for D.C. fire that he wants to learn how and why things are done within the department. It is incumbent on me to come in and learn how they do business before I start deciding this is the way to go because different parts of the country, different things work very well. And, and so that's what I'm here to do, learn, lead, and be a part of this great organization. In July, embattled fire chief Kenneth Ellerby, part of the Gray administration, stepped down from his post after three years of controversy. He was replaced by interim chief Eugene Jones, who today Mayor Bowser thanked for his service, but she said he will no longer be part of this department moving forward. Now, Dean's appointment does require the confirmation of the D.C. Council, but Mayor Bowser said he will join the department in May with the title of interim chief. Reporting Northwest, Mike Kinnean, ABC7 News.